Today we're going to dive into the world of pot roast. Pot roast is a perfect holiday dinner. It takes a little while to make, but it's always worth it in the end. We're gonna start off with some boneless beef chuck bottom round. Um, this is about three and a half pounds. You can do more, like you can go up to five pounds. It's gonna require more seasoning, but do as you see fit. This is a three and a half pounder. And this is the salt we're gonna put on it. It looks like a lot. It's four and one fourth teaspoons. However, I learned how to salt meat by the pound using this book. This is Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat by Samin Nosrat. And I love it because she literally details for you exactly how to salt your meat so that you're not going over or under salting. It says amount per pound for boneless meat, which this is boneless. And since I'm using Diamond Crystal, she has a specific salt names here. Diamond Crystal, it's one and three fourth teaspoon per pound, which is why I'm using four and one fourth teaspoon for this three and a half pound roast. If you're using more ends kosher salt, of course, you're gonna use less because it's more salty. And it says here that's one and one eighth teaspoon. But I like to stick with Diamond Crystal because it's just my favorite. I have my one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. This is good for three pounds of meat. I have three and a half pounds, so I'm still gonna use this much. And then I just wanna season it on all sides very generously. I'm gonna use this whole thing, so just lay it on there. And we're gonna do black pepper as well. Flip this over and give this. Now you wanna salt all the sides. See? And this is not gonna be too much salt at the end. Do not worry. It's a big piece of meat. Everything needs to be well seasoned. Our roast is nice and seasoned. Couple of things here. I have some celery, carrots, onions, and leeks. I showed you in a previous video how to chop up leeks, so you can click the link down below to watch that. But all I do is cut them in half, cut the green hard parts off at the top, and then I rinse in between the layer of leeks so that it's like clean on the inside. They're very dirty on the inside. And then I just chop them thin. Also using today some tomato paste. I have my rosemary and my thyme wrapped up in some kitchen twine so that later it's easy for me to just whoop, fish it out with having, without having to look for all these stems in there. I have some sliced garlic, sliced very thin. We're also going to use some red wine. I like to use dry red wine when it comes for braising beef. This is a Cabernet that I got from Trader Joe's. It works fine. If you like to drink it, use it. It doesn't have to be expensive. We're gonna start off by searing this meat. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes to get every side seared. Don't rush it. It's gonna happen on its own time. So let's get started. In a large Dutch oven, I'm starting off with some neutral cooking oil and I'm going to sear my chuck roast on all sides. This is going to take about eight to 10 minutes. So you can't rush this process, but you can see I'm flipping it over and I'm going to get the sides as well. We're creating fond at the bottom of the pot and this creates big flavor. The full recipe for this pot roast is on my website, thedailyspecial.com and I'll link that down in the description. After your meat is seared on all sides, you're gonna remove it and set it to the side. Then we're going to add in our vegetables. So our onions, our celery, our carrots, and our leeks. And we're going to saute them until they start to sweat out a little bit. This should take about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna add our garlic in at the last minute and stir that until it's fragrant, about one minute. I'm stirring in two tablespoons of tomato paste and I'm cooking that out for about two minutes to get rid of the acidity. And then I'm going to deglaze this pot with half a cup of dry red wine. So I'm just scraping up all those beautiful brown bits from the bottom and I'm letting this reduce by half. After the wine has reduced, I'm going to put in my herbs, the rosemary and the thyme, and I'm gonna put the roast back into the pot with all the drippings that it made. Also adding in three and a half cups of beef stock. Add in about half a teaspoon of cumin and bring this whole thing to a boil. After it's to a boil, cover it and put it in a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for about an hour. After an hour, I like to uncover my pot roast and flip it over so that the other side is submerged in the cooking liquid. 
and I like to cook that for another hour and a half. In the last hour of cooking, I like to add larger cuts of potatoes and carrots so that they can cook covered for half an hour and then uncovered for another half an hour, bringing our total cooking time to three and a half hours. I wanna make sure the carrots and potatoes are submerged in the liquid so that they become nice and tender. Once the roast is done, I take off my lid and I separate the meat from the juice. This meat is going to be so, so, so tender. You can see I'm using a kitchen tong here and it's just falling right apart. I didn't have to use a fork. I didn't have to use a knife. It's just doing what it's supposed to do. And this is from the long cooking time. Cartilage in meat starts to break down at around 180 degrees, which is why this meat is so super tender. And I'm just gonna add all of our carrots and our potatoes into the same dish. Now we're gonna strain our liquid or our gravy. We want all of the fat to come off. I love using this little tool here, which is a fat separator, but you can use a spoon and just skim the top of your gravy from all of that fat. I just ordered this separator from Amazon a couple days ago and it has been life changing. I don't have to skim off fat with a spoon anymore and it makes me very, very happy. Pour your gravy right on top of your pot roast and you have a wonderful holiday meal. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.